naked, are you? Not half too mad. She won't go anywhere unless they go and you know it. Well, then you better find a way to convince her, because otherwise she's never going to get out of here either. We'll go. I'll be fine. We'll all leave together in a while. Think it was? No. Oh. I saw. I have no idea what kind it was. Where was it exactly? Where was it? Um, it's by the stream. It's near a big rock. Okay. The water bottle's still there. All right, you, you just stay here. Be very calm. All right. I'm going to see what kind it was. Take care of her. It's okay. Oh. It's okay, honey. Come on, Susie. There's so many snakes around here. It doesn't mean it's poisonous. It hurts a lot, Brian. Yeah, it's okay. Now, I read a book once. And all snakes are poisonous. All right. You can be okay. Okay, I found it. Susie, yeah. look, stay real calm, okay? Now, I don't know a whole lot about snakes, but I could tell from the shape of the head that it's some kind of pit viper. That means that it was poisonous. Search for tomorrow. Look, uh, Susie, the worst thing you can do is get excited, because it spreads the poison that much quicker. Uh, All right, we gotta get that poison out. Yeah, I got a knife off of Miguel's men, so what I'm gonna do, Susie, is cut your arm right above where the snake got you. Oh. All right? And then I'm gonna try to suck out the venom. Here, Brian, use this as a tourniquet. Here, oh, here, use that. that. Yeah, I'm gonna try. Oh, I promise not to hurt you any more than I have to. Do a little higher. Here. Okay. It hurts. All right, I'll do this as fast as I can. Okay. You ready? You ready? Look Keep up. Still. This could be all right. Please. Okay. Ah! Come on, baby. All right. Okay. All right. Here. Get it over with. It's gonna be okay. Hold on, baby. It's all right. Oh, it's all right. Okay. It's good. Did you get it off? I think so. Okay. Susie, we gotta get you to a doctor. Yeah. Yeah. How are we gonna do that, man? We're in the middle of the jungle. We don't even know where we are. Well, we've been following the stream. I think that's what we should just keep doing. But, Susie, look, I'm going to carry you, all right? Oh, I can walk. No, no, no you me. mustn't. You mustn't. You should stay real calm and real still. You shouldn't even move. I won't carry you, right? Okay. Come on, Susie. I'm going to pick you up. Come on. Come on, baby. Okay. Come on. Let me help you up. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Yeah. All three up. Okay. Brian, get that mic. Okay. Yeah, well, the upper limit's in an entirely acceptable range. It's the lower limit here that seems to be unstable. So you want to raise the temperature by one degree by the next mm. experiment? Yeah, well, Lee seems to think that'll be the solution. I happen to agree with it. Mm. We'll raise it one. Yeah. And if that doesn't work, we'll raise it oh. half. Hi, Aja. Hi, Liza. Excuse me, I don't want to interrupt, but I do need to talk to you, so I'll wait out here with Bonnie. No, no, we're at a good stopping place. Come on in, darling. You sure? Oh, that's complicated. Oh, no, it's not complicated. I'll uh, come back to us. No, don't go. There's nothing private about this. That's all right. I just wanted to ask you how you'd feel if I made a trip to New York. New York? Oh, Rusty. Last night, when Dane made me sing at the riverboat, made me realize how much I've missed my music. I want to get back to it. I don't mean just singing. I mean, I want to get a publisher. 
Now, Dane thinks he can help me, but he thinks it's going to mean a trip to New York. Uh, I, I wouldn't barge in on your work like this, you know, but I, I need to start making appointments, so I just wanted to come by and see what you thought about it. I think it's great. Great? Great. <laughs> great. <laughs> well, it won't, wouldn't be till after Thanksgiving, but I need to start making the contacts now, so I just want to make sure everything's all right with you. Well, of course it's all right. I couldn't be happier for you. In fact, I wish I could go with you if it wasn't so hectic around here. Uh, no, 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 no. I wouldn't dream of asking you to go. Well, if Dane can introduce you to the right people, it's a wonderful opportunity. But even more wonderful is the excitement that you have for it. Oh, it is so wonderful to feel excited again. And I'll make a prediction. What? You're going to knock him dead. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was just, it was too painful to be at home. Everywhere I looked, you know, there was some kind of reminder. I have to get Susie's things out of there. I'm just not up to it. Don't you think maybe her Aunt Jo's going to want to help with that? Yeah, yeah, it's just too much for both of us right now. You know what you mean? I still haven't gotten Warren's things out from his hotel suite. Ringo's there, and I, I don't want to see him. Well, I can imagine. You know what's so unfair? Ringo's the only one who survives, and look, look at him. He's, he's such a creepy. Christian, um... Well... I hope you don't mind me bringing it up. What? But Mom told me about the baby. Oh, I figured she would, or I would have told you myself. You must have mixed feelings. Well, I did at first. But you know, your mother has been so wonderful. I'm really looking forward to it now. <laughs> You probably think I'm crazy. No, no, if that's the way you feel. Mm -hmm. I just... Well, I didn't know that you and Brian were that involved. I mean, look, I know that, that you had been a big help to him when he was blind, and I've always been grateful for yeah, that. Yeah, but you thought he was still in love with Susie, right? Well, hmm? we hadn't talked about it in a long time. I just kind of assumed... Well, it took him a long time to get over her. It did. But, you know, he was really starting to fall in love with me before he left. And that's when we I understand. got together. <laughs> I understand. I think he was just as surprised to find himself falling for me as I was to finally have it happen. I've been waiting and hoping for so long, Wendy. I really loved your brother. I mean, right from the first. Uh, it was just one of those instant things, you know? And you probably are wondering why he kept checking up on Warren if he loved me, huh? No, no, really, I... Well, see, he still cared about Susie. He was concerned for her, and that's part of it. But he was also worried about Warren for my sake. You see, he figured that Warren wasn't telling me the truth about all the business arrangements, and if he was doing something illegal, it might cause me trouble down the road, you know? So actually, he was really worried about both Susie and me. Yeah, I can understand that. Something we never agreed on. I told him. I knew Warren wasn't doing anything illegal, and I told him that. But he just wouldn't believe me. I guess that's why he jumped on that plane, was to check Warren out some more so stubborn. I know. If he had just let me know what he was doing, maybe I could have talked him out of it. I don't know about that. But I never really listened to anyone. Yeah. Well, it doesn't help to know that he thought he was doing it for me. No, Kristen. Look, we can't do that. I mean, look at me. I'm the one that convinced Susie to go with Warren. It's a surprise. I'd give anything, anything, if I'd have told her it was the worst idea ever. I know, I know, we can't dwell on it. It's not going to bring them back. I'm just really happy about this baby, if you are. <laughs> I really am. I want this baby more than anything in the whole world. And I'm so grateful to your mother for all the help. Now I'm grateful to you for giving her a baby to look forward to. I'm kind of happy about being an aunt, too. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> You know, I wasn't sure. I was worried. Oh, no. And I was also very alone until you guys came up behind me. You and your baby are going to have a huge family. <laughs> I mean, there's not only me and Mom, there's, there's uh, Joe, Stu, uh, Keith, Andy, Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> so much love waiting for that baby. I hope you're right. I am. You'll see. Christian! Hi. Oh, there you are. I was just on the telephone with a lawyer. He's going to have the papers ready for us to sign this afternoon. 
I wish it didn't have to be such a cut and dry business arrangement, you know. Honey, after we sign them, we'll probably never have to look at them again. But at least you'll know. You'll be all right if something happens to me. Oh, don't say that. Well, honey, she's got to know that she and the baby are provided for. Kristen, I was going through some things. I found this. It's my favorite picture of Brian. I'd like you to have it. Man, you can't quit now. I can't move. Yes, you can. Come on, we gotta get help for Susie. We gotta go on. Come on. I can't. Brian, Brian, take my hand. Oh, here we go. Just stop. Just stop. I have to, baby. I can't go. Look, you gotta go. No, no, we'll wait for you. No, we gotta go. Wait. Just hold me up. Get it out of here. No. Yes, yeah, Susie, we've got to go on. The poison's already taking effect. Come on. No, not with that. Listen to her, Carter. Save her. No. Oh, Susie. Don't want to die in this hell sooner or later. Get out now. I'll catch Come on. up. Emerson, stand up. Carter, I can't. Emerson, Carter. just try. Come on. <laughs> Come on, just try once, man. At least try, uh -huh. will you? Come on. Uh. All right, look, Brian. We gotta move on. All right, here. Take Go. this knife. You're gonna need it. You got the gun, okay? Right. Hi. Get. I love you. Get. I'm go. I love you, too. Go, Susie. Be all right. I'll do my best. Do it. Come on, Sus. Come on. Come on, Bam. Yeah. It's... I know, I know. Okay. I love you, Sue. I love you. I don't know, Martin. I honestly don't know. Sometimes I feel almost invulnerable. Sometimes I just feel that nothing, no one can ever hurt me again. And then all of a sudden, I guess I'm wrong. Well, I'm glad you were wrong. I wouldn't want you to stop feeling. I'm sure Susie and Brian wouldn't either. I haven't even called Joanne. I, I should. We have to plan some kind of a memorial service. I wonder if Joanne and Kristen and I oughtn't to plan something for all three of them. Well, I'm sure Joanne hadn't even thought of it yet, but I don't see why not. Don't you worry about that now, though. Don't you go overburdening yourself. One thing at a time. So, have you been down to the uh, TV station? Oh, I went down there this morning. <laughs> the place seems to run very well without me, and frankly, I've lost interest in it. Well, I think it'd be a very good idea. You know, I think you would be very good at running that station if you put your mind to it. Why don't you just go right on down there and dive in head first and take charge? Maybe Rusty will buy out my interest. Oh, he's got any money left. What are you talking about? Well, he's already agreed to put a nice piece of change into my club. Since when? We've been talking about it for a while. We just worked out the details. But Martin, I told you I would give you all the money you needed for your club. Yes, I know you did, Stephanie, but I also told you I didn't like all the strings that were attached to it. But there weren't any strings attached to it. Hmm. I felt them tugging at me all the same. You don't think there are going to be strings attached to Rusty Sintel's money? Just the usual business arrangements. What 
are you doing doing business with him? You don't even like him. You hated him from the moment you saw him. Well, a mutual desire for a successful business venture seems to make strange bedfellows. Evidently so. I'll bet before this is all over with, you're going to wish you were in bed with me instead. Rusty? Hard at work as usual. Yeah, well, that's what they pay me for. Where's Travis? He's still down in the testing area. Should be a good another hour. Ah, well, then I'll have to catch him at home. Mm. You didn't happen to see Liza today, did you? Oh, yes, I uh, saw her earlier this morning. Oh, that must have been before she made the big decision. What decision? She's uh, going to get back into her music. <laughs> yeah, she mentioned that to me. She practically banished me from the living room so she could work at the piano. Mm. Well, she came by here today, told Travis that she was going to go with Dane Taylor to New York to see if she could have some of her music published. You know, she seemed very excited about it. So did Travis. Seems to me like the recent strain between them is soon going to be mended. Well, perhaps. Temporarily. You know, Rusty, I still don't know why it is you want Liza out of Travis's life. But if that is your goal, I think you've got your work cut out for you. You've got to move. You've got to get out of here. What's around? What's around? What's around? Yeah. One more. Sorry, one more. We, we take it. We take it. We can't get him out. Come on. I've got to just keep myself... Keep myself into the belt. One more. <laughs> Don't hold on, Mr. Come on, Don't count me. What's the count? What's the count, huh? Come on, can't you hear me? What's the count? That's all I want to know. Oh, I'm getting up. Stop it. I'm getting up. I'm getting hurt. Stop the count! <laughs> I love you. I love you, Susie. I love you more than anything. Susie. Susie. Susie, wait! Don't go, Susie. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm right with you, Susie. Don't go, Susie. I'm coming with you. Wait, Susie! Wait! Keep your eyes open, okay? Try to stay awake, Susie. Please. Come on. Come on. Just can you hear me? Susie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's me. It's me. Yes. Come sit up. Brian. Huh? Okay, he'll be along in a minute. Uh, Brian's fine. Don't don't worry about him. He's coming. I love you. Yeah, yeah. Susie, come on. Wake up, Sue. Look, come on. Stay awake. It's important that you stay awake. Come on. Okay? Let me know that you can hear me, all right? Hey! Jin Song and Gay Asakaki. We're Americans. Are, are you Miguel's men? We are government troops. Why are you working with the federal leaders? Government troops? Uh, stay seated! Why did you mention Miguel's name? Because we escaped from him. He had us captured, but we're Americans. We were in a plane crash, and we've been working our way through the jungle. What is your name, Carter? 
Got it. Yes. Yes, and this, this woman needs a doctor. She had a snake bite. It was poisonous. Please, get a stretcher. We thought you were dead. The first man out of the jungle said that the other two, three on the plane were dead. Well, almost. Yeah, but look, we need a doctor, please. How did you manage to survive? I don't know. I honestly I don't know. And the fourth. The fourth one on the plane, is he dead? Brian. Brian. 